Hey, Lisa Berry here. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on customizing a font for a title with a fill pattern and also I want to do a little perforated in offset so that it looks like it's a stitched title. So first thing I'm going to do is type out my title, which I've already done. Today I'm using Swiss 921. The next step would be to create an offset. So I open my offset window and I'm going to do an internal offset. And that's a little big. You can see a little distortion in the letters. So I'm going to go ahead and use my down arrow and make it pretty small. I want just a little bit of an outline right there. Go up one more. That looks good. Next I'm going to change my pattern from my line from a red red line to a black and after that I'm going to change it from a solid line to a perforated and then I can also adjust my line thickness at that time right now it's pretty light if I want to make it super dark I can do that and if I want it to be just a little bit lighter I can leave it as it was before and because we're going to be using a very light fill pattern I think this is just going to be fine for today so I want to do a coordinating title for my scrapbook page. The particular line of paper that I'm using, which is Amy Tangerine Sketchbook, is not available in a digital form. So what I did was I scanned it at 300 pixels per inch. And you can try it out. Sometimes if a paper is um, has a lot of detail and I need to, I've gone up to 360 um, pixels per inch. That seems to be just plenty for any paper at all. I've never had to go higher than that. So I'm going to go into my um, fill pattern library and once you download and scan a fill pattern and put it into the silhouette library, the nice thing is you have all the same advanced features as the papers that come with the program. So here's my miscellaneous papers and today we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to show you the paper that I used yesterday. It's called Snapshot. It has these really cute little cameras. And you can see when it comes on the screen, it really doesn't look like anything at all. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. But what we can do is we can fix that by going to the advanced options. So first thing that I want to do is I want to scale my pattern bigger so it covers the whole area. And in addition to that, I want to see what I'm looking at. I want my pattern to show. And because it's um, kind of like a doodly camera, I want to make sure it's big enough. And I, I looking at this, I can see that the cameras are all sideways, so I want to rotate my pattern 90 degrees. Now I can see that my cameras are all the right direction. Now I'm looking at this pattern and it looks a little bit a little bit like a line drawing. I can't really tell what it is, but if I pan my pattern, I move it around a little bit, I can get it so that it looks better within the cutouts of the letters. I think that looks nice because now I can see this whole camera right here and you have a better sense of what the pattern actually is. So that looks good to me. Just to go over a couple of the different options that you have besides pan and rotation, you can um, change the transparency so you can get a feel for that. This obviously I want to go as dark as possible because it's a very light sketch pattern. And the last step is just to go over to the cut window. And because we have a pattern where we created a perforated line, we don't want that line perforation cut today. So we want to go and tell it just to go ahead and cut the edge. There we go. That's it. That's it for today. And I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at how to fill a font today. Thanks for watching. Bye.